with me, Gina Marie. We're making split pea soup. We're gonna chop up about three carrots, real teeny, and some celery. And you can use the leaves, they're very flavorful. It's about three garlic cloves, minced, one medium onion, and some thyme. We always need a lot of thyme. I use a honey baked ham bone for this recipe. I put the carrot, celery, and onion, and garlic all in the pot with a lot of oil, olive oil, and I let it saute. Then we're gonna add the washed peas and broth, equal parts broth to water. It's pretty easy, watch. And I do list this recipe at the end as well. Split pea soup. It's really great this time of the year. I use organic low sodium chicken broth, but you could use any kind. Probably need two of those. A big pot. I'm gonna put some olive oil, a generous amount in the bottom. You can see my peas sitting on the side. I rinsed them. Two bags I use, two bags of peas. Putting in my chopped onion in the oil in the big pot. We're letting those peas drain or sit there. They're gonna go in this pot soon. Then we got all of our celery, carrots, garlic. Put that in there. And we're gonna saute this really good. Stirring it a lot, not letting it burn. You can add more oil if you feel you need it. Kind of, you know, use your own judgment. A little bit of salt, not too much because it is ham and ham is salty. We like a lot of pepper, so you can put as much pepper as you want. Keep stirring, watch your heat, like medium. See, I'm gonna need a little more olive oil. It's absorbing too much. You wanna saute them. They're gonna cook down, so it doesn't matter if you mush them up. That's why we cut them so small. Keep stirring. I actually puree this at the end with my little handheld blender right in the pot, just a little bit to get everything all smooth and beautiful. All right, put that lid on to steam them. There they go. Now they're starting to saute real good. When they get real good and sauteed, you'll know it takes a little while. Take your time. We got nowhere to go <laughs> but the kitchen. Life with me, Gina Marie. All right, I think they're getting soft enough to add those peas. I mean, yeah, there are peas. I always wanna call them beans. I make bean soup like this too. Might stick a little to the colander because they've been sitting there. Just scrape them off and get them in there. They're hard as a rock. We didn't cook them yet. I didn't do anything to them but rinse them. Put them in there, mix them together. We're gonna add equal parts broth to water kind of eyeballing it enough to cover up the ham bone you have. If you don't have a ham bone, you might want to make a smaller pot and you can cut this recipe down. Some people use chunks of ham or, you know, they chop it up in chunks and that way, but the ham bone is the way I do it. Putting in more broth and water. Excuse the flannel shirt, sorry. I don't get very good camera angles sometimes. <laughs> There's the water. I don't get take two because I'm doing all of it myself. So <laughs> My spoon is getting buried, I see, but I'll be pulling that out. My spatula. <laughs> oh, well, I'm only human. I'm just a housewife cook at home here. But this is some good soup. Actually, my mother-in-law makes this fantastic. I never even ate it, I think, until she made it for me. And I went, wow, I don't know. And I tried it, and it's nothing like what it sounds. Split pea. It's just delicious. So I put a little hunk of ham and a ham bone in there, and I'm going to let this boil for a long, long time. All these things have to just, like, melt down and get thick. It's kind of amazing how this dish works. I gotta add more water because I wanna make sure I cover my ham. 
bone. I left a little meat on the bone. It'll all fall off. That's kind of when I, I know when it's done. Okay, I am skimming the foam that's going to come along the top as you simmer this to a delicious dish. Because you don't want to overboil your soups because you just don't. You just want a nice simmer going on. You don't want a rumbling boil. This is what it turns into. Eventually, we'll take the ham out and puree it right in the pot. Isn't it lovely? Here's the recipe again. Okay. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me at Life With Me, Gina Marie on Facebook in my um, inbox or my email is on there or www.lifewithmegenamarie.com. That'll take you right to Facebook and YouTube and where all my videos are. Enjoy your split pea ham soup and strive to be happy.